More than a month after Kentucky's 6% sales tax was put in place for several non-tax services, businesses and charities are measuring its impact. Lawmakers file a bill that, if approved, removes nonprofits from that tax. Here's Eyewitness News' Mike Pickett from the Owensboro Newsroom. A month after it started, business at Harold's Cleaners in Owensboro still hums along. It really hadn't affected, like, who comes in and who doesn't come in. Owner Eddie Titchener says customers still ask about it when they see it on their receipt. Business, the same as it was before the tax started, but it's changed their accounting. Changed my, my balance sheet and put a, a, a taxable line and a non-taxable line because actually the clothes that I cleaned in June that people are still picking up this month are non-tax, so I have to keep it separated until I get rid of all the old clothes that I, I did in June. Other business owners say they haven't seen a significant change in their bottom line so far. 17 services, also including campground reservations and dog grooming, also had the state tax applied on July 1st. It also applies to nonprofits hosting fundraisers. A lot of other organizations, uh, again, have had some fundraisers in July, haven't really talked about, you know, how it's affected them. Steve Winkler of the Cliff Hagen Boys and Girls Club says the state tax has to be applied on tickets yeah, for their upcoming which. steak and burger dinner fundraiser. 25 tables sold out so far, but Winkler's seeing how it hits future events. We don't think the 6% is going to affect us, especially in this fundraiser. Uh, but again, we'll see how it goes down the road. We've got a couple others toward the end of the year. Lawmakers are already expected to discuss proposed changes to the sales tax. A bill was pre-filed recently that would make nonprofits and charities exempt from the 6% tax. The bill, with several dozen co-sponsors, expected to be brought up during next year's General Assembly session. In Owensboro, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.